I am Jared Hillam. The advent of cloud has created a crescendo of activity. This is because the cloud enables organizations to drive massive efficiencies and agility that on-premise solutions can't hold a candle to. However, to take advantage of these new capabilities, the code needs to be native to the target cloud platform. Thus, the need to convert code has become a major priority in the market. While this has become a very hot sector, such projects are poorly understood by both clients and even consulting companies. First, the knee-jerk reaction by many organizations is to believe that code conversion could be a push-button event. The basic semantics of code is just the beginning. The ability to provide parity from old code requires deep grammatical context. Let me give you a parallel example. I took a classic short poem from Emily Dickinson. I used Google Translate to transfer it over to Icelandic, then back to English. Here's the original poem. I'm nobody, who are you? Are you nobody too? Then there's a pair of us, don't tell, they'll advertise you know. How dreary to be somebody, how public like a frog, to tell one's name the live long day to an admiring bog. Now here's the cycled translation. I am none, who are you? Are you nobody? So is a couple of us, don't tell. They would advertise, you know, how miserable to be anyone, how public like a frog to say the name of one's life to an admirer of the swamp. <laughs> Obviously, we've lost the meaning almost completely. The words might be semantically similar, but the whole picture and depth is gone, not to mention the lack of rhyme. Now imagine the measure of your translation being validated by data that has to match exactly. So doing code conversions cannot be treated as a one-time, over-the-wall event. Code conversion is a cyclical event of adaptation, which incorporates not just the semantics of the code conversion, but the grammar, naming conventions, methodologies, and this all evolves during the project to meet data tests at the ground level. This doesn't mean that we have to rebuild everything from the ground up. The effort of code conversion is still intended to capture the old code and make it new. But code conversions are only as good as the adapted patterns they identify. Thus, they require an engagement with both experts and appropriate tooling. The same way that our translation to Icelandic might take some expert crafting to make it poetic. The choice of words and their meaning play a key role the same is true for code conversion. The approach for how we convert a stored procedure or how we convert an ETL mapping requires skillful understanding of the target language limitations and appropriate workarounds, leveraging the naming conventions and patterns used by the organization. What's more, once we have those appropriate patterns, we need to be able to use conversion tooling to propagate those patterns across the deployment. Second, the ability to convert databases goes well beyond database schema. Tables, views, stored procedures, and raw SQL queries are all necessary aspects of converting. There are many solutions out there that do the easy work of dealing with schema conversions. The deeper conversion of the actual code is really where the value lies. And that takes us to our third misunderstanding, which is assuming that you can migrate an MPP data warehouse without touching the data integration layer. In the rare case where all the data integration is following an ELT process, this might be possible. But in the vast majority of cases, the ETL slash ELT method has to be deeply understood and often converted wholesale. Fortunately, there are tools out there that facilitate this cyclical conversion process. Entricity can guide you through code conversion and act as a team of expert translators in making the code conversion happen. I've written a white paper about code conversion titled The Code Liquidity Problem, which you can find in the video description. If you'd like to talk with Entricity about your data landscape conversion project, click on the link in the video description to talk with an Entricity specialist. 